54 meters high. We are 54 meters high. And if you put the chandelier chain to the ceiling, you will find a Star of David. So it, it was a way, yeah, it was a way of decoration. Yeah. Uh, or maybe it, it shows uh, tolerance or whatever. Uh, so Muhammad Ali built this to uh, commemorate his name and to have a tomb there. Oh, okay. His tomb is back there. Alternative yeah. Smoke. Yeah. yeah. So Muslims face that way when they pray, which is uh, the east to Mecca. And we can see two members or two pulpits. The big one, the wooden one, is the original, the original member which is wooden gilded, you know? It was gilded. And the other one, which is alabaster or marble, was gifted to the mosque by uh, King Farouk. Yeah. Uh, as we are in a, in a masjid, I'd like to give you uh, a quick introduction about Islam as a religion. By the way, Egypt has like 85% Muslims and 15% Christians. And in some other statistics, because we were ruled by Mubarak, we don't have very accurate numbers. 90% uh, Muslims, 10% Christians. And we are all brothers and sisters. So no problems, you know. The only problems appeared uh, were normal problems, not because of religion. Like brothers and sisters in the same uh, family. Anyway. Islam is based on five main pillars. The first pillar is uh, to admit that there is no God but Allah and Muhammad is his last messenger and the Holy Quran is the last message from Allah, from the God. The second is prayer. As I told you before, Muslims pray five times a day and uh, on Fridays, the midday prayer is very recommended, not I can't use recommending. It is a must to pray in a group. And we listen to the Muslim Sheikh, the Muslim Imam who is giving us an advice about our religion. Uh, the third uh, pillar is fasting Ramadan. Ramadan is the ninth month of the Islamic calendar. And the Islamic calendar is a lunar one. So, 30 days a month for 29. That's why Ramadan comes uh, 11 days earlier each year. So uh, last Ramadan was in August. This uh, next uh, Ramadan is uh, coming soon. It's gonna be in July. So the, the, the next one will be in July also. Then it comes to June, May, then it back to winter. Yeah. Anyway, fasting requires absence of food, drinking, smoking, gossiping, uh, uh, between sunrise and sunset, even water. Uh, I'm coming. Yeah. So uh, uh, even water is not allowed to go through your throat. Uh, there are exceptions for this. The pregnant ladies, the nursing ones, the breastfeeding ones, uh, also the patients, the sick people, uh, kids, old people, or the ones who are advised or ordered by the doctor, the doctor not to fast. If you are fasting and harming your health, you are killing yourself. So uh, Islam is not about killing. Islam cares about the human being as I'm going to say. Uh, actually, it is a very merciful way, a very good way for the rich people to feel uh, mercy towards the, the, the poor people who do not find the uh, living, who do not you know, afford to feel three meals a day. Anyway, uh, the, the, the fourth pillar is charities and almsgiving. Muslims are blind to pay. 5% of their yearly savings. If they, you know, have, if they have more than 10,000 Egyptian pounds, it is estimated by weed and gold during the time of 
profit. So if you have that average, it's 10,000 pounds uh, savings. You are obliged to pay 150 Egyptian pounds to the poor and the needy. So the very rich Muslims, if they apply this, they, they, they have millions. If they pay this, you will not find a poor Muslim in Africa. the charity which is not obligatory, you know. You pay 2.5% of, of your yearly savings, it's obligatory. If you don't do this, you are losing a pillar of your faith. But you can pay more, whenever you want. The fifth pillar is pilgrimage. Going to Mecca, to Saudi Arabia, just to pilgrimage. Uh, and actually, the lost regime used to make a good money out of it. Egyptians out of, uh, out of this tour because Muslims are so uh, in they, they are so to this trip they, they love it they, 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 they need to do it to, to finish or to, to, to make sure that they, they have done everything uh, but there is flexibility about the last one you have to go to uh, Mecca or to do pilgrimage as long as you afford it, health-wise and money-wise, so as long as you afford it. If you don't afford it, it's okay, it's okay. My mom kept, you know, trying to go and there is a governmental thing about this, it is like, uh, it's like uh, a lottery or something. So you, you, you give them your, your papers and everything, your passport, and you keep waiting like three, four months to know if you are going to travel next year or not. She kept doing this for five, six years. She traveled last year. They got 25,000 Egyptian pounds. She kept saving money. She borrowed even some money. And she didn't like the service. She didn't like the way they treated her. And the, the one with the tourism company is like 40, 45,000. And they are putting a solution to this nowadays. They are trying to reduce this amount of money. Cost. It is cheaper for a Muslim in USA to do pilgrimage than a Muslim in Egypt, which is like a, a, a sea, a, it is like a gulf. Yeah. A gulf, you, you are there. It is one hour, one hour uh, flight. Anyway, these are the, the, the main pillars. What about the, the ethics and the manners? The first thing I'd like to start with, the image of the, the, the Muslims, they are terrorists. Actually, it is written in our Holy Quran, and we believe in this book. Uh, one life. Uh, I'm giving you the meaning. I'm not translating. I'm giving you the meaning. Uh, one life you save equals saving the, the whole human being beings on earth. And one life, you know, one one person you kill equals killing the guilt. You will take the guilt of killing the whole humans on earth. This is in the Holy Quran. Okay, so if I found somebody sinking in a river or something, I'm not gonna ask, ask him first, what's your religion? <laughs> I'm just gonna save him and, you know, waiting for my prize in the hereafter, in the afterlife. Because I know, my God, Allah said, if I did this, I'm gonna be rewarded as saving the whole human being. And if somebody is attacking my kid, I'm not gonna ask him. I'm just gonna defend my kid. If he died, it's okay. <laughs> This is the way it is. And actually, the word jihad, the word jihad, it is not about killing infidels or killing the non-Muslims. It is about if somebody came to attack you, it is like war rules. Somebody came to attack or to occupy your land or to humiliate your, your families, your ladies, your, your society, you are allowed to fight, to be very, very cruel. So you defend yourself. These are the ground rules. And there is a verse in the Holy Quran, I was asked this question one day. Uh, it is written in the Holy Quran, kill them wherever you found them. Kill them wherever you find them. Yeah. 
actually, I, uh, the, the rest of the verse says, and get them out from wherever they got you out. It means they came and occupied our land, our homes. So it is not kill them wherever you find them and that's it. We have in the Holy Quran, the, the media just get the part they would, they would like to advertise. Yeah. And we have a verse in the Holy Quran says, don't ever pray. As I told you, prayer is the second pillar of our religion. It is said in the Holy Quran, don't ever pray while you're drunk. Can you imagine this? <laughs> Some people just get the, the first part, the first half, and the, 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 the alcoholic drinks were not prohibited in the early beginning of Islam. It was prohibited gradually. That's why, you know, uh, this, uh, this verse is there. Don't ever pray while you are drunk. And if you are taking a medicine, it makes you not focusing or, you know, you don't know what are you going to say in your prayer, it is okay, do not pray. It is not about alcoholic. The whole verse is about, part of it is about alcoholic and, you know, just in general. Uh, also, uh, Islam is a very, the, the Islam is a very merciful religion. Uh, one lady in, uh, sorry, I, I'm gonna give you another story. Uh, the, 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 there was a funeral in the time of the Prophet, and uh, the Prophet and his friends were sitting, and the funeral was just passing by. The Prophet stood up for uh, as a kind of respect for this 